The young warrior Yu Daiyo receives a double assignment from his mentor. He must protect the Coast Guard map of Zhejiang City from Japanese pirates who attack the shores of China, as well as deliver the equally legendary Yuanchen sword to the legendary Shaolin Temple. This sword is a symbol of unification for the brave warriors in black who are summoned by the defenders of China to fight invaders and rebels. Surprisingly, the two quests turn out to be connected, and all traces lead to Jinxiu Villa, which is run by a mysterious lady named Gongyu. In case anyone isn't aware, Chinese filmmakers take quite a liberty with their country's history, especially when it comes to movies for the online platforms. The protagonists of many of their costume films are real historical figures, but the events that happen to them in these films often have a very distant relation to the details of their true biography. And, unlike many Western countries, where there are many people willing to scrupulously analyze historical films for inconsistencies with the facts, few people in China take this seriously. They remembered a good person and thank you for that. Those who know Chinese history from the top, the name of Yudayo is hardly familiar, while in China it is quite a well-known character, a hero of the 16th century, especially distinguished in the fight against Japanese pirates. He has also appeared on screens. For example, he was played by Roy Chow in King Hu's 1975 historical action film The Valiant Ones, in the 2015 TV series anti-Japanese hero Chi Ji Guan he was portrayed by Yurong Guang, and in God of War Yudayo was played by none other than Sammo Hung. In the online action movie General Yu Daiyo, this role was entrusted to the young actor Li Ming Xian, who last year played the lead role in the sci-fi action comic Mutant Ghost War Girl. So, if you wanted to learn about the youth of Yu Daiyo by this movie, we're sorry. Of the real facts of his biography, the movie contains only some general words. He was a patriot, fought with Japanese pirates, visited Shaolin, where he studied the art of fighting with a pole. The rest is pure fantasy in the typical style of modern Chinese online movies about a legendary sword and several opposing sides trying to get hold of it. This fantasy, however, is quite fascinating and professionally made, if you squint and pretend that we don't need neither battle scenes, nor outstanding special effects and costumes. The movie is shot in the usual scenery of the movie town in Hengdian and in terms of spectacle and action can offer only a few good, but very short hand-to-hand -hand and fencing combats. The Chinese didn't appreciate this brevity, apparently they didn't like the aggressive, almost metal soundtrack, so on the streaming platform Aichi, which has an exclusive of General Yudayo, it was almost instantly drowned in the stream of other novelties. But fans of such movies should still give the movie a chance. It does not open new horizons, but feels quite confident.